song, feel the love, we defy, we defy, we defy, say I am, we defy. I love that song, I can never get enough of that. Hey guys! It is Knuda, and I have another episode of Vandal Hearts. We are headed to the palace ruins now. As you can tell, I am very excited. I'm in a good mood today. I haven't, I haven't been in that great of a mood the last couple of days, but I'm in a good mood today. I'm really excited to be playing more. This was the palace of the Asha dynasty. Fifteen years ago, Eris's army arrived here. This magnificent palace was burned to the ground. Even now, when it grows dark, the spirits of the dead haunt this place. Hey, cut it out! You're giving me the creeps! Go back where you came from! <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna try and, uh, do a high-pitched scream there. A curse will befall all who enter here. Don't be silly. Nothing to be afraid of. Fools! Die then if you wish! Monsters! Gole- Wow, that's a lot of golems. And of course, these guys are all armor, and I have no mage. So this is going to be an interesting battle, because I think they receive like half physical damage or something like that. I gotta look up, like, what the specifics are for that. Alright, I'm gonna go left. Ooh, wait, do I have any new magic? No, just additional uses of fairy's light. Now, the great thing about armor, though, is that because they have so much health and damage reduction, they usually don't have much ability to block, so you can hit them from the front and not have to worry too much about whether or not they're going to block your attack. And done. I like how they don't bleed. They just have a whole bunch of rocks that explode from them. Actually, I want to make sure how far he can move. Okay, he's going to attack Diego next turn. If I went right, I'd have a boulder to use on the ones coming down the steps, but I should have one going this way, too. Of course, if I split my forces up, I can get both of them, but... No, I think I'm going to just go one way. I don't think splitting my forces up is going to be a good idea right now. I like how Diego uses his sword, just like twirls it around and then beats them upside, or uh, not beats them upside the head, but stabs into their throat. Most of these are not going to move. Alright. So yeah, just a brief explanation of what I meant with the boulders. I'm sure you guys figured it out, but these round boulders can actually be kicked and they'll damage or kill anything that it hits. And it'll go through a whole line of enemies until it gets to about right there, and then it'll break. And this box is used to get there, if you didn't know. Let's see... Diego cannot attack the one over there. What am I saying he was gonna attack Diego? That's Clint there, not Diego. Diego, you are going to shoot this guy in the back, like the bastard you are. The good bastard, not the bad bastard. And then Clint cannot get around behind him, so we'll just smack him. There we go. Done. And Ash, you are going to move just outside this guy's range so that we can try to surround him. When I first started, when I first found Vandal Hearts, I actually thought that it was a sequel to Suikoden, which I was very wrong about. I don't even know if it's the same creators. I don't think it is anymore, 
but uh, I used to think that it was. I was so excited to see a sequel to Suikoden as well, I hadn't realized that there was already a sequel out. But, uh, that sequel was... Suikoden 2 was okay. I actually was not a big fan because the war parts were so bad and pointless. Let's see, Diego will hold off that guy while we kill this guy. That's three down, and like six more to go. Something like that, yeah. Oh, that one's moving. Oh, so is that one. Oh, I get it. It's not so much by how close I am, but how many are left. Okay. I can deal with that. Diego, come over and kill this guy. Actually, no. I keep calling him fucking Diego, and he's not Diego, damn it. He is Clint. I want support for Diego when he goes to fire at this guy. But, unfortunately, I've got to move Diego, and you can't move them without ending your turn. So I don't think Diego's going to be able to kill this one. Oh my god, so close! Oh, well, hey. Diego leveled up. That's what I was aiming for. I was hoping to get him more experience. But, uh, that works. Alright, I need to get over to that boulder before they start stacking up behind it so that I can kick it on a couple of guys and maybe kill them. Plus, I need to lead that other one around so that I can get to that second treasure chest as well. And I don't know if there's a secret spot... Oh, I think I see it. To search the ground. Alright, so the rest of those are not moving yet. I'm going to get Ash over here and go ahead and use his herb. And see if I can get his name right. Clint is going to go over here. Smack that one. Kill it. Okay. I don't think Diego can open chests just because he's an archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't open chests, so Clint's gonna have to be the one to open that chest. Alright. Clint, smack it open. I think his inventory is full, though. And, okay, good, it went to the supply wagon. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, so Ash on the next turn should reach the boulder, and by then all of the enemies should stack up next to the boulder. So I should be able to seriously damage a couple of them. They don't seem to be stacking up. I'm not happy about that. I'm not going to waste that boulder yet. I, I don't want to waste any of my resources. Now, of course, another interesting thing about this game is firing uphill decreases the range of your archers, but firing downhill increases the range of your archers. So there's a lot of terrain stuff in this game that really provides a lot of depth to the strategy. You can block enemies. In fact, blocking enemies becomes a major major strategy thing for another level later on. Uh, without blocking, without that uh, terrain emplacement, you can't win that level at all. But, uh, it, it's amazing how well thought out the strategy is in Vandal Hearts 1, and then in Vandal Hearts 2, they kinda completely screwed that. I'm gonna have to go ahead and waste this. But that's okay. Oh, it didn't kill him. 
It probably brought him really close, though. It, it did about half. But yeah, in Vandal Hearts 2, which I'm never gonna play because that game was really, really bad, uh, they screwed up the strategy big time. In it, both sides planned out their turns at the exact same time and took their actions at the exact same time. So this meant that you didn't have a hero turn and you didn't have an enemy turn. But you tried to figure out where the enemies were going to be and attack them that way. Which meant that you didn't have a whole lot of strategy or depth of strategy when it came to terrain. Or anything for that matter. And half the time the enemy would get around uh, behind you and would screw you over just by being there. And it, it just, it made for a really bad game. And it's, it's kind of sad that it was like that. Because it, it had a lot of promise. Ah, good, there was a fire gem in there. Alright, Clint, head on back. Ash, go around him and try to get to that treasure chest before the battle ends. But yeah, with, with... Vandal Hearts 2, it's kind of hard to... I tried explaining uh, that game gameplay to some friends of mine and they didn't quite understand what I was uh, talking about. I hope I... Uh, I hope I got it right in my explanation, but if, if it's not quite clear as to why that strategy is bad, as I said, the enemy moved at the exact same time as you, so... Because you had already put in your your movement, you couldn't you couldn't uh, get around them. You couldn't preempt them. There was nothing you could do to stop them. It just was really super fucking annoying trying to get around them. I've got to push this thing, which means I've got to lead that guy around more, and I don't think Clint can get away from him. So, Clint, heal yourself and don't kill that bastard. Because it's going to take me a couple of turns to get up there. But yeah, just suffice to say, Vandal Hearts 2 kind of failed miserably in, stra in the strategy department. Which was so sad, it was such a promising game. Oh good, he blocked. Um, push. Diego. Push. And then move this way. No. Move this way. And on the next turn, I'll go up there. Hopefully I'll have the movement to do that. But, uh, I'm hoping that that creature can't reach Clint. It might, though. Okay, good. It didn't quite reach him. But yeah. Vandal Hearts 2 was very promising. And it just did not did not succeed where it was supposed to. Or where it very easily could have. But enough about Vandal Hearts 2. I've gone on about that for a little while. We're here to talk about Vandal Hearts 1. And if you're not here about Vandal Hearts 1, I don't I don't know why you're here. This is a Vandal Hearts 1 movie. Uh, movie, yes, definitely a movie. Feature, full-length feature film starring Hugh Jackman and Johnny Depp. Not really. Damn it, Diego can't get the fucking chest. I forgot about that. Fuck! Ash, you gotta get over there, like, right goddamn now. Why didn't I move, Diego? Or fucking Clint. God damn it. I don't think Ash is going to have enough movement. Shit. Damn it. This wasn't what I wanted. I really wanted that treasure chest. I don't know what's... Yes! He blocked! Excellent. I really want that treasure chest. I know I'm wasting a lot of time trying to get this fucking treasure chest. But god damn it, I will have this fucking treasure chest. don't think Clint got away. Nope. 
nope, nope. And I may have lost Clint. Because I didn't heal him. Ah, shit! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, hopefully I can sell that fire gem because I don't have a whole lot of use for it. I get by really well with just my my uh, main people. <clears throat> okay, another herb. Well, that was not worth losing Clint. God damn it. But, I may be able to level up Diego again. So that's something. much gold as I could have had. I didn't lose much, but certainly could have done better. My clay golems! That doesn't sound like the same voice. So this is the one who created the golems. That was a pretty vicious thing to do. You're the vicious ones! Trying to make my daddy into a traitor? Daddy? Who are you? Eleni Dunbar, daughter of Magnus Dunbar. General Dunbar? But it seems that you're misinformed. We're just trying to... Miss Eleni! Good old Huxley the butler. And priest. Huxley, I told you not to follow me. But Miss Eleni... Oh, some gentleman from the DSF. I hope she didn't bother you. Bother? She tried to kill us! A thousand humble pardons, my lords. I am Miss Eleni's tutor, Huxley Hobbs. It seems as if the young Miss has heard some foolish rumors. It isn't a foolish rumor. Please, just listen to our side of the story. Some say that Magnus was planning a coup, but we never believed it. So you think something happened to him? That's what we came to this island to find out- To this island. Yes, this island, because we're on Gilbaris Island right now. We s we've went out to sea without crossing the sea, and went to Gilbaris. Yes. I believe you. Let's get started. Absolutely not! I won't allow it, miss. It's my decision, and stop calling me miss. Please, Ash, I want to help my father. Let me come with you. Okay. Let's go. But you better be able to take care of yourself. Thanks, Ash. Jeez, Ash, I can't believe you. What? In that case, I shall be forced to go as well. Although I appear frail, I am a master of healing. You will need my help. Yay! So Eleni is the first mage, and Huxley is the first priest. So there's a healer and a mage. Even the old guy is gonna come with us? Aw, oh, man. Come on, old man. Tell us what you know. Ooh. I know nothing. Don't lie, Count. As the highest ranking nobleman, you must know. Fool. My father heard you. How about that? Hey, it's not nice to mistreat old people. Hello, Dolph. Oh, it's you. Don't kill the old fool yet. There is still valuable information that we require. I like you. You're almost as evil as I- <laughs> Yes. Yes, because evil people immediately recognize that they are evil people. Would you like to take a crack at breaking this old man? Enough, Kane. So, Dolph, how goes our little plan? Everything is going as scheduled. Just to be sure, one of my people has even infiltrated their group. Good. Now, we just have to wait for them to arrive at Gilbaris Island. Gilbaris Island? No! You mustn't! Ho oh, oh. ho! I knew you knew something. Whoops. Now you can tell me everything you know.
Okay, let's see. Items. I'm gonna give Eleni some new stuff. Light staff to the depot. Eleni. Nope. Depot? Weapon? Oh, okay, she's already got a light staff. Okay, then what about a wool robe? Already got a wool robe! Damn it! A uh, leather band? Okay, then in that case I need to go back to the capital and sell some stuff. Luckily I don't have to fight in the palace ruins again. Um, sell... Huxley, you have a cape and a light band. Oh, you need a, you need a light staff. Okay, then in that case... Sell one woolen robe, sell a bandana, and a fire gem, and buy another light band just in case, and a light helm. I forget what Diego used, but I'm pretty sure they can only use light bands. Once more, items, give me just a second, there we go. Uh, depot, armor, wool robe, Huxley. Ah, no, fuck. Items. Depot, weapon, light staff, to Huxley. And that's the best equipment I can get him. So we'll go back to the shop and we'll buy some healing items for everyone and sell the shit that I don't need. Sell the staff. Sell the cape. Okay. Buy an herb. An herb for Eleni. And an herb for Huxley. And I'll give another herb to Clint and a mage oil to Ash. Okay. All right, leave town. And with that, guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think so far. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but the story gets really amazing. Right now it's fairly simple, but the story gets really awesome, and I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, if you really enjoyed this, favorite it and share it with your friends, okay? And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.